Hello and welcome to this edition of the Israel Homeland Security Special Report. I'm David Jones. Today I'm talking to Elad Gilat from Puzzle. Hello Elad. Can offshore installations be protected by technology alone? And if not, what is the task of personnel in the loop? Okay, uh, in, in the last few years we've seen uh, some technologies that are involved in, in, in defense being matured into a stage in which we can use them to, um, to design a suit that can protect those kinds of installations from almost any threat. I think the, the challenges are first of all to um, define what the threat is and prioritize it in the right way. So when we take those technologies and integrate them into one suit, we can bring this uh, solution. There will always be a person in the loop, whether in the design stage or the operation stage. Right. But from the engineering perspective, we need to integrate it smartly. Do you think it's possible to design a seamless protection system? And if not, what are the obstacles? Okay, in a perfect world with endless budget and endless amounts of time and endless personnel, maybe that's achievable. But when we uh, go about designing that kind of, uh, of a suit, we always have to prioritize what are the threats and what we want to counter. And there is always the, 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 the part of the characterization of what we are defending against that is always important. We can't defend against everything, even if we have the technology. We, we will just not have the budget and the personnel to defend against every threat possible from practical reasons, not because there is a... What are the best Israeli technologies when it comes to offshore protection? Uh, in Israel, we've... Uh, uh, seen and in the last few years, uh, as I said, technologies have matured for um, counter um, all kinds of missiles and rockets and projectiles that we've seen the Iron Dome on land and some versions of that are being um, developed in order to defend offshore installations on the same concept. Of course, in the middle of the sea, we have to also uh, build the tactical picture around us to counter the uh, surface threats and the uh, radars and optronics has, have also evolved in the last few years to give us um, those solutions. And unmanned platforms that can do patrols are also being developed in Israel in the air and on the sea, and they can uh, save money and lives doing uh, those defense missions in an unmanned way. Thank you very much for talking to us.